What up, Wastelanders? Christopher here, Gaslands NorCal. Thanks for joining me once again for another conversion video. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on here, but the big thing we got is a war rig. That's right. This time, we're going to be going big, and we're not going home till we're done. So, uh, I've got this big rig, 76 big rig, that we're going to be using for the cab. Um, I think this is an HO scale uh, tanker, obviously Texaco. They're going to be using for the uh, the trailer on this one. Got some wheels going on from Angel of Combustion, some barbed wire, all sorts of weapons. Of course, some skulls for the Warhammer stuff. Exhaust from uh, French Forge. So yeah, just a lot of stuff going on. Not sure what's actually going to make it onto the build. I've got another um, really big flamethrower that we're putting on here. So yeah, just all sorts of stuff. So. Let's get this thing going. First off, we're going to get this thing apart and get her in its stripper. All right. Now, while we're waiting for the cab to strip and everything so we can get that repainted, let's start taking a look at the uh, the trailer. So like I said, I'm going to keep the Texco on there. I'm going to weather it all up. I'm probably going to start just by putting a coat of Agrax on there just to see what pops and what I want to shift around and whatnot. I have these, um, or actually a truck bed um, that I'm gonna get a couple of these. I'm gonna put on there like so. Um, put some turd mounted weapons on there. Have some chains hanging from the center area to the truck bed so the uh, crew can go back and forth without falling off the slippery surface. I'm gonna, you know, grime it all up, rust it all up, and everything. I've got some armor pieces that I'm gonna be putting on. Um, Try to get them bent um, so they form more to the curved area of the uh, the trailer. Um, get those all rusted up and everything else. And get all this painted silver and everything so it looks all metallic and whatnot. So yeah, let's start uh, by getting this thing grimed up. And uh, we'll get the rest of the pieces and parts all uh, primed in black so we can get those going. But yeah, this should be a really cool build. Looking forward to it. We're all grunged up a little bit. Um, just the Agrax and stuff, nothing too major. Got the the platform stuff all kind of silvered up, so it's looking more metal and not quite so plastic. Uh, I was trying out um, how I thought I might do some armor on there with some plastic card and the heat gun, and didn't work as well as I was hoping. Um, I'll keep it on there. Just gonna you know corrode it up, and I'm not gonna make this war rig like a corporate war rig. This is gonna be very very wasteland, so just thrown together, pieced together scraps of armor on there just looking very very rugged so um yeah not looking you know perfect or anything is totally fine with me i've got the um front and the back weapons turret mounted weapons ready to go we a turret mounted machine gun in the front and like i said this i got a gnarly flamethrower thing that's gonna be sitting in the back got a little bit of the the blazing ink going on there. Um, then have the chains going to go in between and stuff. Corrosion around the edges and everything. I'm also, you know, looking at it. I'm thinking it probably needs like some graffiti. Um, so I'll probably throw some graffiti on there before I do uh, a whole bunch more weathering, just to make it look very, very, you know, wastelands, very rugged, very apocalyptic. So yeah, let's get some graffiti on there, and then uh, we'll get the front and back turreted mounted weapons on there. I'm not going to put the wheels on quite yet. I want to wait for the cab to come out and get all that primed and everything so I can make sure the wheels are going to be the right height and everything when I'm putting the, uh, put them on the axles and stuff. So get those on a little bit later. But first, let's do some graffiti and a little bit more weathering. All right, so we got some graffiti going on there. Not a whole bunch, just a little bit. Got the different pieces of armor and everything. It's all grunged up. Of course, the war boys. Uh, turn back or die. Uh, so next we are going to work a little bit more on the corrosion. I'm going to use some um, typhus uh, corrosion from Citadel. Um, just around the edges, like where uh, the water and stuff or whatever would build up, where all the rivets and stuff are around the armor and everything. We'll get those rusted up as well to make it look uh, more wastelands and everything else. Then we're going to get the uh, 
flamethrower put on there and the uh, turret mounted machine gun put on there and we'll be working on the wheels and everything um, get some more of the uh, barbed wire put around the edges and everything get it all blocked off and yeah then we'll work on the cab and start getting this all put together coming along nicely Rusted up and everything, got the chains and stuff going on there with the uh, front and back turret mounted weapons, the gold flamethrower, and the uh, heavy machine gun. Got some bumper tires on the edges there. Got the area where I'm going to have the back tires, um, which I'm going to be putting on next, and then finishing up with some barbed wire that's going to be going in between the tires, and then get some skulls on there. And the trailer will be good to go, and then we will start working on the cab cabs where you all stripped up and everything um, painted all black and so the cab won't take too long got some some cool ideas but uh, yeah getting this thing finished up and getting ready to release the dreadnought all right the trailer is Benito with all the rust and the weathering and everything the weapons are just looking awesome a few modifications corrections repairs yeah Things looking really good. Loving how this turned out. Very, very grunge. Very, very wastelands. Um, yeah, this thing's just a beast. So next, we are going to be moving on to the cab. Got everything all printed up, painted up, ready to go. So the cab's going to go a little bit quicker. Um, then we'll get it together and talk about how I spec this thing out a little bit. But yeah, really like how the, the uh, trailer turned out. Looking good. All right, here's the cab. Like I said, I got it painted up all black and everything. Kind of basic right now. Didn't like do a total flat black. Had it just kind of like sprayed from a little farther away. So just a little bit of speckled. So it was a little bit more weathering and stuff. Um, so we'll get a little bit more of that touched up. Got some uh, water slide decals I'm putting on the side just to give it a little more pop. Wheels and stuff going on all painted up and ready to go. A big old exhaust coming from French Forge. Actually just ordered some more. I think those are going to come in today. Love those. Just outstanding. They make some really, really great products. Um, and then we're going to have the uh, front ram going on up here. And uh, yeah, like I said, this, uh, this one's going to be a little bit quicker to get all together. And uh, then we'll get it attached to the trailer and um, talk about how I spec it out. So yeah, let's get this thing going. All right, it's got the wheels on there, some of the water slides going on. Starting to look pretty cool. Next, we're gonna move on and get some of the armor pieces on there, um, get the ram and everything on there, and then we'll start looking at what weathering needs to be done. Um, got a harpoon I'm gonna be sticking on the top there. Don't like that. Um, yeah, and then, uh, like I said, then we'll do some weathering. So let's get the armor and the, uh, the ram on there. All right. Got everything all glued on there and everything. Looking much more gaslands, much more wastelands. Still looking a little pretty though. I'm gonna have to grunge it up to match the trailer and everything. Get it all rusted and corroded and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is looking pretty badass. Um, so next, I'm gonna do some more weathering and then we will get it uh, articulated on the trailer. Um, look at some gameplay stuff, but yeah looking really good so far really liking how this is turning out outstanding all right and there we have it cabs all done trailers all done i present for your consideration the juggernaut i've got a magnet uh, on the back of the cab and a uh, paper clip uh, glued underneath the trailer so we can make it all articulated and it will stick so it turns and everything let's go over how I spec this baby out obviously it is a war rig it's got the flamethrower turreted in the back uh, heavy machine gun turreted at the front um, front mounted harpoon I gave this uh, war rig um, some extra crew members so he's got a total of nine crew 
We've got two submachine guns. So yeah, this baby can pack a huge punch coming at you. So yeah, really enjoyed this build. Not the first war rig I have done, but this is the first time I have filmed one. So yeah, had a lot of fun. Turned out really, really cool. If you enjoyed this video, you learned something, do me a favor and hit the like button. My goal is to do weekly videos, whether they're vehicle builds, train builds, whatever. So if that's for you, please hit the sub button below and ring the bell to get notified when new content drops. I do sell all my builds pretty inexpensively on my Etsy page, so if you want to pick up something, check out what I've done, you can even request a custom build. Till next time, keep your foot on the gas and your finger on the trigger. Gaslands NorCal, signing out. Ha, 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 ha,